Cabrini College has welcomed two members of the St. Philip's Mission in Swaziland to campus for a few weeks in order to strengthen the college's partnership with Cabrini Ministries in Swaziland. This visit comes after a group of faculty members traveled to the country in Africa last summer. Swaziland is experiencing an AIDS pandemic that is leaving children orphaned. The Cabrini Ministries work with the St. Philip's mission is to provide shelter and education to the children. Sharon Singleton and Simo Mamba share their experiences working with the mission. Swaziland has been hit hard with the AIDS epidemic. If like the saying goes, if you are not infected with AIDS, you are affected because somebody in your family will have died of AIDS or will have AIDS. So lots of children are losing both parents and some children are actually losing even grandparents. We can be very glad if we can get some students here and visit our, our Cabrini ministry so that our children can see that how important it is to, to get yourself into books like reading, how to, 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 to make yourself comfortable in readings and all these things. The education system is not a good one, first. Secondly, English is a second language in Swaziland for us. Our first language is Saswati. So even the teachers are comfortable in speaking Saswati and teaching in Saswati. So these children have about seven subjects, only one is written in Saswati, and that is the language Saswati. The six are in English, because even math has to be read. You know, or even math, if it's not a number, it's a, a sentence in English. So there's five subjects that are written in English, but the teacher is teaching them in Saswati. And this child and the test is set in English, English, and this child must write back in English. Do the test in English. So that is a big problem, and the children are not making it. And you find a child moving up to grade seven, but cannot read. So we just have to work around there. And that's where the afternoon program comes in. What we do on this program, we teach literacy and numeracy, the basics. And our f what we're focusing on strongly now is reading and reading and reading and I mean I don't think we can have enough reading, reading yeah. because every subject has to be read and they cannot read. Uh, I think Cabrini will succeed in making a difference in the children's lives because we already see positive change over just the few years Cabrini has been operating, the seven years since it's been operating as an organization. There's a lot of change. Yeah. Like this year we have two that finished high school and we hope they go to university. And we've got quite a few kids moving on to high school and we think that's good. Yeah. What, I, what I can say, I would love to thank the people who have been supporting Caprini uh, ever since and to continue doing that to save the people of our For community. For Location, I'm Danielle Alio.